I mean, look, I know this like looks like a clown pick, but I swear to God, he's like destroyed people with uh, with uh, Incineroar before. <laughs> that being said, I'm from <laughs> Noodle seemed pretty confident, so I don't know. I don't know what that spaghetti interaction was. He air dodge out. Ooh, goes for the grab. You're a really good get up attack. Yeah, they're spending no time <laughs> messing with each other right now. They're just going right in. Ooh, gets the revenge. You're looking for the to cash out right now. I mean, I don't really know if he grabs the kill over here. Maybe he's just going for the damage. Loses the revenge, on, unfortunately. Man, barely misspacing that backer. That could have been big. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I hate the the gyro specifically because I feel like I can never time being able to like weave between hitting it and grabbing it. Ooh, a lot of these like barely spaced things. I wonder if that's just because this is a secondary or versus like specifically positioning around things. Looks like he's having a lot of trouble, but what a punish! I mean, like, a lot of people say, you know, like, Rob's back here is so safe just because he goes so far, but yeah, you just, <laughs> you just freaking side beat him right out. Yeah, once he, he's dead right there. Send him back to the litter. Alright! You cannot be aggressive against that man. Was looking a little bit grim for him in the beginning, but he's definitely making it. I mean, like, no slouch and kill potential whatsoever. Goes for the four tilt. What we like, Grob has the weirdest freaking combos, dude. All right, tries to go for the Raven. Revenge gets punished there. I guess that's one of the big things with the uh, with like Incineroar's like momentum heavy game. I mean, I think there's a couple ways to play him. Playing around Revenge specifically, I think, is pretty good. Just because I know Rob has a lot of cheese potential, kill potential here, and being able to do stuff like that where you just get close out damage like that, I think is really useful. So I'm I'm, I'm all for calling revenge even like more often than you need to, just just so that you do get it when you need it. Cause he's pretty heavy, he can afford to take those risks. Good air dodge over here, great match. Getting sniped out with these lasers. Looks like Noodle is pretty comfortable racking up pretty high damage. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Archie. <laughs> oh, also, his tag is foolish. I don't know what the hell that's for. Look at the spacing from Burst here. Taking every advantage situation he can get and knock. That doesn't kill all the way down. I guess like it doesn't have a lot of acceleration. He might be dead right here. Honestly, he might have been able to use the the gyro to force the like, tech back on stage, but that would have been pretty niche. That's a very specific play, I think. Look, this is looking rough for Noodle, despite how it looked at the beginning. I mean, he has to play pretty safe here, because I think Incineroar has some pretty good um, aerial kill options. Ooh. I mean, after all, those raw, like, off, uh, all the raw blitz I've seen, I don't know. Oh my god, he just cannot make it back to stage. He's going to get it back again? Oh my god. Oh. oh my god, and he does it again. Jesus Christ. He did not let him cross drop at all. That was so good on, on Noodle's part. I mean, I feel like that's a hard thing to space just because he comes plummeting down at such a ridiculous pace. But yeah, he bossed him around on the cross drop. And he's staying in Cineroar. I mean, I, honestly, I feel like he wasn't too uncomfortable there. I think Noodle definitely somehow got an insane handle on how to deal with Plastro. So offstage, Noodle definitely had the clear advantage there. Just um, once you have that high recovery, like there's nothing in Cineroar can really do to mix it up too much. And there's the, the, a, lot, a lot of the shield pressure, I think, from Rob is safe on Cineroar, which is pretty rough for him. That being said, I think Burst has been having... Wait, He's shown a lot of really good proficiency in the way that he spaces, and that revenge specifically, I think, is pretty good to go for, because I think Rob's combos can be pretty, like, not like hit or miss, but they're, like, fake, and I don't know what that, the hell that was. Did he uh, super armor through that? And Incineroar can't challenge him off stage really, and look at him just taking his own sweet time coming back to stage. I mean, I'm honestly more Oh, and what scoop! Sorry, I'm like a bewilderment. That was that was really good. I mean, you don't expect it to come from that angle, but yeah. You gave him two scoops of that ice cream. Ooh, good grab here. Gonna be straight to 65%. That's the thing with Incineroar. You can never really tell when he's at the back foot because he just does so much damage. I, 
and well, Rob's like recovery is pretty vulnerable, and there's always the threat of the side B coming out, and always the threat of the the counter coming out. So we haven't seen a lot of it too much. Perhaps he's he's not a fully comfortable for it, but I expect we will see something from that. So oh, I don't think he has any kill confirms off of that. Probably too high percent for that, but really ratchet option just to go for it. Nice narrow over here. Try to look for the tech maybe. Okay, falling up right here. Still not going to kill. Both of them are 145. Both of them have equally good kill potential, but one of them is just going to take it out of here. 3 to 1. Um, yeah, Noodle definitely probably feeling it right now. That first game looks really, I mean, looked pretty good for him, but Chris has just shown that he has the better spacing, I think, is, uh, is, is coming down. He, he's playing his options safer, using his lingering hitboxes really well, and, and another thing is, like, his punish game has been so on point! Yeah, he told him right to his face. Don't you dare sleep on cross drop. Look at that counter there. Ooh, unfortunately gonna get outspace. Not gonna get the kill. 181. This cat's not going down. Alright, looking for the forward tilt here. It's our first off stage. I mean, he has to be feeling good about that first stock. And again, showing that he knows cross drop in and out. All right, you're just holding the W key from uh, from Incineroar here. Is that gonna kill? Oh my God! Fro had a spine. I tell him to go see the chiropractor, but goddamn! Ouch! That that did not look good. Uh, quite a show he put on. In that maybe he was throwing the first game, or maybe it's the skin change. I can't tell. There was something different about that game. I mean, I think it was, uh, one, the grabs were far more on point. I think he spent a lot of that game trying to uh, condition the shield. And he's going to have to pull out the Wii Fit here because looks like he might have the Rob figured out. Alright, yeah, I definitely want to see how Noodle switches it up over here. I mean, obviously the character switch is a big thing, but... I mean, I think it's always interesting to see if habits are characters, like, dependent or, like, universal for players. I think he's, I mean, just, just not the floodgates, we can see that, you know, I mean, it definitely seems like Noodle's having a little bit more time spacing, you know, he's having a little bit easier time spacing, but that being said, look at how Burst call out a lot of these jumps. I know, um, Wii Fit has, like, certain ball angles that they like to go for, and I think that's, like, a really big thing you can punish them for. Everyone has those kind of, like, I don't know how to put it, like a mashing option, but, like, their default brain setting for what they're gonna go for. And, ooh! Yeah, sends him right to the sun for, for being a little bit too aggressive. Oh my god, he had the read over there, but barely missed spaces. I think he was, he was like a, just a little bit centered better than he kind of got out of that. Like, gotten away with that. Doesn't have the timing over here, but looks like Noodle is far more comfortable. I mean, I might take that back later, actually. The first game did look a little bit similar, but hopefully Burst doesn't need a whole game to, um, to really figure this matchup out. Nicely spaced, and charges that up smash right in his face. No fear on this cat. Alright, good scoops here. Unable to find the damage. Going for a lot of these jumping nares to call up the full hops here. Good dash attack. Trying to strike him out. Yeah, look at him just sniping Noodle from the air. Alright. I really thought Noodle was going for the down air over there. Big damage. Oh, good nair over there. That lingering hitbox makes it impossible for you to use the ball there. Which is pretty good. Deep breathing right now. I don't think he's quite in the kill range just yet. It's nor is quite heavy, but it certainly does help you rack up damage. You go that once again. Yeah, burst has been scary at Legend this whole game. I did not know Incineroar's uh down to was that good. Down to up smash is a deadly combo. Does find the kill over here. Good backers there. Kind of just punish him for being like, bad lining options and unable to find the timing again. He's a burst has been pretty good about mixing up the timing on those mashes. Going for that upper pressure. Unfortunately, I don't think Incineroar's aerials are. I mean, they're good for heavy in general on shield, but not super great. And the really good thing is that they linger. Tries to go for that reset over there, but it's really good about reacting to that option. Is he go for the down air or the side B over here? Yeah, I mean, I guess Nair is pretty good for the ball. Almost gets the snipe here. Really good air dodge by Burst. The forward tilt's gonna hit him. Oh, he's dead. The cat did not land on his feet for that last dog. 
dạ chào